spend the winter alone, yeah Cause I don't please fall I don't please fall yeah. 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 See, had to ask a question if you happy, girl I'll change your mind anytime in this Hello guys, welcome back to another video My name is Mia, or Sleepy Mia this is my iced coffee, and that is my dog, Dexter. He's a very curious guy, as you can see. Always super interested in what I'm doing, and always annoying me. But, I mean, at least he's kinda cute. I'm reading some webtoons. This is just a sort of painting vlog about my day leading up to me painting. It normally happens at night, honestly. I sip my coffee, I read my comics, I get licked by my dog. I do my skincare in the morning because it makes me feel good and I feel more ready for my day when I have a fresh face. You can see my skincare routine in another video that I will link below. I like to do my makeup too. Um, I just feel like it gives me a little more confidence and it kind of puts me in that work mode. You know what I mean? If I'm lounging around in the same old clothes and I have an unmade face and unmade hair, I'm in that lazy mode and I don't want to do anything. Finally starting, this is the Himi gouache set. So just as a disclaimer, if you don't want to hear my annoying ass, you are more than welcome to mute the video and just listen to your own music. But, um, you know, you should still watch anyways because I told my mom I was gonna get 4,000 watch hours this year, and, um, it's not looking good, team. Okay, no, but in all seriousness, um, I'm doing a landscape study of a Sailor Moon landscape, you know, like in the 90s animes, how they normally had watercolor backgrounds. I wanted to get that sort of retro anime look. And I thought I would just attempt it. I actually want to make a comic, and I thought it would be really nice to have those types of backgrounds and overall have the aesthetic of the comic very reminiscent of 90s anime. I feel like that's kind of a trend lately, and more and more people are drawing in a retro art style. But honestly, I am a basic bitch, and whatever the trends are, I'm gonna follow. So. That's really all there is to it. I'm really easily influenced, and right now I fucking love retro anime. I say retro as if, like, it's a million years old. I grew up watching this shit. Alright guys, so one thing I'm really struggling with about YouTube, I feel like I don't get my actual personality across the same way I can on Twitch and on Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter, Sleepy Mia 145. Um, that's also Sleepy Mia 145 on TikTok and Instagram. But I, I don't think that I get that same personality across on YouTube. It's like, I think Twitch gets the more like the real me, the real Mia. But YouTube, I feel like I just become more meek, more positive, and more quiet than I actually am. I feel like YouTube, I act more like how I do when I'm first introduced to someone, like we just met. Even though I've had this channel for what, two years, three years? It's like we just met and I don't really know you and I don't want to make any crazy jokes because uh, what if you don't like it? What if you get mad at me? That's how we are and I think we just need to break the barrier, okay? So I'm gonna start treating you guys the same way I treat people on Twitch. And if you don't like that, you can honestly suck my d The worst thing in the whole world is drawing straight lines. I do not do it. I will not do it. I will not conform to straight lines. I will have my wobbly lines and I'll be living a happy ass life, okay? So don't even mention it. I don't want to see one comment. Your lines are all wiggly. Shut up, okay? Your, your face is wiggly. Your mom's wiggly. My lines are perfectly fine. They are happy, they're living their best life, and that's it. So like, this color scheme though, I actually really love it. And I think that's something that I've noticed is very common with retro anime. Kind of like monochromatic backgrounds or very pastel backgrounds. And like, they, they tend to have that sort of watercolory 
feeling or it's made with watercolors and I'm actually just so excited to do more in this type of style. See I say that but I actually made this a while ago and I haven't I haven't particularly drawn in this style since then but it doesn't mean I can't in the future and I'm really excited actually to try to translate this sort of style into digital art and see how that turns out. I mean my lines will be straighter at least. Another thing that I can't wait to show you guys is kind of like how I do, how I take a 3D background and I try to make it look like it was painted or done traditionally. So I'm really excited to do that for a future video. Let me know if you want to see it. This is pretty much done. I'm just adding finishing touches, little white speckles and highlights here and there. But I'm going to be peeling off the tape in just a second. I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing and the talking that accompanied it um, because honestly I did enjoy making the video as much as I talk shit I enjoyed making the video so I hope that you guys will subscribe to see more videos in the future and I also hope that you ring the bell icon so this way you get notified Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at SleepyMia145. And I also stream on Twitch Monday through Thursday at SleepyMia. Goodbye! I should have told you that I loved you.